Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be looking at two functions. We're look, looking at subst and subst if. Now both of these are for replacing elements of trees. So let's take a little tree here. Tree is our little list of lists and things like this. They can be nested as many times as we liked. And then we've got values in here. It's quite often that you'll want to replace them for some reason. Maybe you want to omit certain things, um, like reduce things down. I don't know. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, we, every time we see a 1, we actually want it to be a 0. And so we're going to use the subst function. So here you can see uh, down in the signature, right down here, my mouse wants to play, um, that it takes a new value, the old value, and the tree. So we're going to say, hey, we want the new value to be 0. The old value is 1. That's the one we're replacing. And then we've got a tree. Um, and we're going to go and run this over here. And with a little bit of cleanup, because it might not be immediately clear what's happened here, so let's just bring this down to a new line. We can see that where it was 1, 0 before, it's now 0, 0. Um, where it was 0, 8, 9, 1, it's now 0, 8, 9, 0. Even down in here where it was 90 and 1, it's now 90 and 0. So yes, it's walked through this tree and it's replaced everything with this value with this value. Now, plenty of times, of course, we want something a little more complex. You might want to create a function which tells it whether to swap the value out or not. So we're going to do again, and this time we're going to do use subst if. And we supply the new value. So let's say in this case, any value that is a number and is less than 5, we want to just turn to nil. Okay, so the new value is going to be nil. And then we need a test function. So let's write our test function here. So our test func um, is it's going to take some value. And we're going to check if it's both um, a number. And we're going to check um, if it is less than 5. I think that was what we were saying we wanted to do. That sounds reasonable. And then we're going to take our test func, and that is going to become our test function here. And now all we need to supply is the tree, and we're going to go and run test1. Let's reformat this again, but you can probably see already that it's worked. Okay, so let's have a look. Where we have a 4, 1, 0, 3, these are all nils now. 9 is still here because it's greater than 5 greater than or equal to 5, according to our test. So 4 is less than 5, so that's nil. And we can just follow this down and see this is true everywhere. Down inside here, this 1 is now a nil. These values here are now nil. And so these functions come up in a variety of places. We're actually going to see them again in some future episodes, but it's worth knowing about them, and so that's why we're looking at them today. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next little bit of Lisp.